Hello, everybody. Hello, all both of you. So far, we'll see. Okay, Menzel, congratulations on redeeming first. You are the first person to redeem first this stream. Good, good job. Good job doing that from Lurk, I think. That's pretty impressive. Also, fantastic job to Stream Elements for announcing that I am live after I've already finished my starting suit screen <laughs> and I'm actually for reals live, for reals. It's been slow the last couple of weeks, but that's okay. Hi, Petal and Cobra. Wow, hi, Beavis. Nice to see you. That, yeah, it was, it was slow. I've been, I've been watching I've been watching, like, the chat, waiting for the message to pop up, and I'm like, maybe it just won't. Maybe it just will not do that today, but it did. And so, welcome, everybody. Yes, happy Monday. Good morning. I I'm pretty sure it's morning to, like, 7 p.m., right? That's the, the technical. Them's, them's the technicals deets. Yes! So, I, I am very excited. We're playing more um, Brilliant Diamond today. My cords are hopelessly tangled, and so that's going to be fantastic. Uh, but that is a problem for later Lady QEW to deal with. Um, and I actually have looked some things up. Not useful things, not important things, but I've actually looked some stuff up about this game since uh, I was with y'all on Friday. And so I can, in fact, confirm that none of these guys are allowed to evolve yet. Uh, because I need them to learn different moves. Well, except for allergies. Allergies really needs to involve, like, ASAP, but they're gonna be slow about it, and so we're just gonna have to deal. Which is fine! Um, but yeah. Hope everyone had a lovely weekend. Uh, if anyone feels like dropping in chat some exciting things about their weekend, I would love to see some of them detailed. Um, and I hope everybody is being able to be eased into their week a little bit, because it is a Monday, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And so, hopefully, um, people are finding their, their day-to-day -day lives, um, handleable. It would, it would, it would be nice. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna play ourselves a little bit more Brilliant Diamond, and what we're starting with, um, I love this. Make your way to Hard Home City. Oh, wow. You know what? We're probably not making it there today. Haha. <laughs> Haha. We have new tools. We have new skills. We have really no need to, to actually progress the plot right now. So, we ain't gonna do that. So, I have it on great authority. Thank you, Wild Badoo, for your help. You are, as always, very gracious. Um, I have on good authority, and by good authority I mean the internet, which may or may not be right, uh, that there are some cool things that I can try catching in this area. Hello? Hmm. I might be using this wrong. Um, but that's fine. There's some cool things in this area that we may or may not be able to catch. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's absolutely a thing here. Maybe it just isn't a hidden thing. I don't know. I don't know how to use the dowsing machine. It's fine, probably. But yeah, um, I think that this grass has some exciting stuff in it. And so I just want to find a good hello Pokeball. I just want to find a good place to do a little bit of running around. See if I can pick up some new friends um, that are not friends that we previously had. Ooh, I see another Pokeball. And some berries. I do like finding stuff. Okay. Try this again. Aha! One, two and a half, and then over one. Okay. Here ish? Okay. Okay. So the dazzling machine does does work. Oh, so much grass. Oh, there are so many things down here. Uh okay, that dude looks like he's probably a trainer. So we're just gonna swap do a little do a little switcheroo. I can tell I startled you because you turned around, and that is how Astonish works. This is what I'm learning. Hiker Theodore was clearly astonished. This is where we at. Ow! 
are you? <laughs> so the actual reason that I'm doing this chat is that I'm pretty sure this is the first area in the game where you can catch a stunky. And I really would like to do that because I I think that Wait, does he have sturdy? He probably does. Oh yeah, he does. He's fine. Um, because it would it would be nice to have have the company of of a beavis as we were wandering around. I I would feel so protected with it probably in my Pokeboxes. We'll keep our current Pokemon. I think that the friendship thing actually like needs active battling and not just leveling up. And so I might have made a strategic mistake with my buddy. But we'll see. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Cool. He's just very startled, chat. This poor guy. Very, very startled. Oh! Well, hello! So a Bronzor is new? I'm really not sure I can deal with this with a Badu, but I'm gonna start by seeing if I can sneeze paralysis at it. Delightful. Okay. That's great. That's fantastic. Let's see if it'll just let me catch it because of the paralysis. Alright. Um, that's very interesting. I remember Bronzor being really hard to catch in the OG version of this game. The answer is yes. But now I need to think of a nickname. So Bronzer is Steel type. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a Bronzor named Metal. Because we did, you know, just have the Olympics relatively recently, so that's on my mind. How very exciting. I think... Yep, this is where we find this item. Oh my. So that is a cave. Lovely. But, I really want a skunk. So I should probably have a better... Yeah, that ain't gonna work very well. I should probably heal, truthfully. My poor fire horse is having trouble. Oh no, now I'm confused. I mean, that's a very pretty confusion. Ah, awful. Oh, we'll have one more try and then we have to come up with a different plan. Nice. Really? That is interesting. I wonder if flame charge is better. Gosh, bronzers are Difficult. Maybe I'm just spoiled, but I am very used to like super effective moves one hit KOing in the wild against Pokemon that are like that much lower in level than me. 
think I must just be spoiled. Okay. So I'm probably gonna do the at least semi-smart thing. Which is, go find a place to heal up. I say heal up, but of course that's when I'm going to start meeting things. Two dudes are pretty good, though. Let's see. Do you have sturdy? A two. Yes, you do. Oh, you want to go fast. All right, Geodude. How fast are you? Not fast enough. Probably be doing this more. They did just give me this thing. Hmm? Nope. That's fine. We found a thing there. Okay. Delightful. I think I'm probably gonna leave allergies front and center anyway, just in the hopes that I'll get some. Some higher friendship from them because I would actually like the buddy to evolve um, so we're being told we need to go to heart home city which is over here which involves continuing along with route 207 and going through Mount Cornet um, but we're not gonna do any of that right now we are going to go back to the lovely grass patch and do our best to try and catch some new friends whoa Close. Close to cut. Oh, hello! Oh, that's interesting. I haven't actually met a Cricketot yet in the wild, but Crick Cricketoon just right here, you know? Wow, that is not very effective. Um, I think I'm gonna kill it if I use a wing attack. But I'm gonna try that anyway, just in case. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm never sure with Pokemon that evolve whether I want to catch um, ones that are like the lower evolution and actually do the work of leveling them up. Or if, like, for some of them, I'm just like, nah, I'll just catch the full evolution when it happens. Oh, we got a Geodude. 
and I think I'll probably be very inconsistent with that throughout this playthrough. Do you have sturdy? Yes, you do. Pretty sure every Geodude in the game other than mine has sturdy. Not bad. And so I know that I don't want Watt to level up because I haven't learned Crunch yet. So as cute as those little fangs are, sir, we're not gonna. Okay, so what we've learned is do not wing attack. So maybe we'll try a quick attack and see what it does. Not bad. Sure. I think I might actually need to buy Pokeballs soon. I always try to wait until I get to an area where I can buy like at least Great Balls rather than spending too much money on Pokeballs. Oh, very nice. I don't think so. I think I can learn some better moves for my Starly before I let it evolve. Oh, this one. I know this one. I'm gonna call this one Bach. Because that mustache, man. He just looks like an ancient composer. Aha! We have found a skunk. Let's see if we can catch the skunk. Because that's the important thing. Okay, so the skunk is stunned. Stunned. Even. Um, so we're just gonna go for the tried and true, well, you're stunned, can I catch you? And see if that works. Uh, no. This is an uncooperative skunk. Stunky. Okay, so... That's unfortunate. So let's switch to someone who might actually be able to hurt them just a little bit. So let's throw out the fire horse, because the fire horse is my smallest Pokemon. My lowest to level currently. Cool. Paralyzed. And we're going to toss a tackle at it. Not bad. I could do that again, but I'm going to try the Pokeball again, because now we've done damage to it and it's still paralyzed. Voila! I have succeeded. And this is very important because we did get a redemption uh, last week from Settle Down Beavis, um, who redeemed who's that new Pokemon um, to indicate that if we got a Stunky, uh, we were supposed to name it Beavis, so we are going to name this little darling Beavis. Yes, I would like to give Stunky a nickname, please. There you go! Success. 
Beavis, I have sent you to a box. Which is pretty delightful. So I think, like, if I can meet a Cricketune there, you'd think it would be pretty likely that I should be able to meet a Cricketot in that area, but I think that might be more complicated. Um, so that was surprisingly a lot simpler than expected. Let's switch and take a look at our boxes for a second. Oh yeah. Where should I put ghosts? My typical match for ghosts is like ghost and dark go somewhere near psychic. Actually, I'm gonna put you down a row, sir. Yes. So you can go in the frilly one. Bach is totally fine to stay here because he's a bug. Huh. I think there's one that looks very steel. Yes. Okay, perfect. So my bronze or metal can go there. And then. Poison Dark. This is such a tough one for me to categorize. This is a tough one to categorize. So I'm going to make a call um, to classify it principally as poison in my brain, which means I'm going to leave it near the, like, grass and bugs. Um... But it's also a dark type, which means I could potentially move it to a place that it would then share with dark types. And so maybe that will be for later. Okay, so that was uh, way less time than it took me to catch a ponyta. So let's take a look. This is one of the first areas where there's like actual optional content, I think. Like, I don't think we have to complete anything in this area and the route underneath the bike trail. Like, it's just getting you from one place to another. And you could just go down the bike trail and go across to the cave and keep going. Um, but instead, I guess I'm kind of recollecting that there's a cave here somewhere. Um, and so I'm just going to do a real quick double check to make sure, because there's like the obvious cave entrance at the back here, and I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, we could get another fire horse if we wanted one. But probably one is enough. I really like that it has the, like, when it has the movesets on the side, it's actually staying effective and super effective even in that screen. So you can, like, properly check the Pokemon that you have in your party against which you're fighting. That is very interesting. Because, like, I know it has it here. But it's just kind of neat that it has it in general as information that it wants you to be able to access. That that's no longer a secret, that's no longer supposed to be hidden, that just is. Ah! I see. I see. So this cave is dark. Shocking, I know. Neat. So bike is the plus one. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see these. Oh my gosh, these are just a complete mess. They're not sorted at all. Wow.
There we go. So I do have Flash as a TM. But I don't want to teach it. So this is actually one of the things that I really like about carrying the boxes with us now. Um, because I think probably my biggest complaint from some of the early gens is the moves that you have to have in order to navigate the map. Therefore being something you have to kind of like party juggle for. And so either you need to make them useful, which you can do pretty easily with Surf and Fly, but it's a lot harder to do with like Flash and Defog. Or you have to be willing to just burn a slot in your party and have fewer Pokemon that you can be training or leveling up in any given area so that you can navigate the area. And one of the first ways that I feel that they fixed that really well in this like remake is the fact that the HMs really are just hidden moves that you use um, with Pokemon that happen to be nearby. But uh, one of the other things that can really help with that is it means I actually can go to my box, try to find something to teach Flash to. Like my guess is gonna be that these guys can learn it, for example, because typically bugs and grass type can learn Flash. I don't know if that's true um, of these ones, but I can at least check them. Uh, and that like kind of smooths over the fact that I don't need to burn a party slot for it. I can just switch it in when it's applicable and I can potentially put it back when it's not anymore. But I do want to be aware just in case switching it out like ruins the flash aspect. I do want to be aware and potentially be trying to pick something that I want to be gaining experience. Because I've only got one flash. Okay. Let's see if we can teach it to embroidery. Darn it, but I want to be leveling all these people up like all the time. Okay, well, we'll sack Paracarry for just a second. Just a second to see if we can. Ah, embroidery cannot learn it. Okay. I wonder if there's a better way than just the straight trial and error. I don't know what the Pokemon needs. Okay, perfect. Um, so Bach can learn Flash. I am going to... I'm going to replace that one. Delightful. And now I'm going to go over and try to figure out what he is holding. A literal metronome? This guy had a metronome? That's interesting. Wow. I like that item, I think. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but that is a very interesting item. Sir, why were you just carrying that around? You don't have pockets. I, 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 you know what? You might be right. Like... There's some Pokemon that I could believe have, like, somewhere, but, like, he would just, he's just, just holding it, just holding it, just chilling with his metronome. It's important because he's a composer, obviously. I don't know, Beavis, I agreed with you. I'm just pretty sure on a Monday, it's morning until dinner time. But I appreciated it all the same. 
Hey, Beavis, did you see what I caught? I was very excited. I I have well you're paralyzed, but I'll I'll fix that eventually. It'll be fine. But I I, I found you. Oof. Do they at least have like measures in place, Beavis, that are gonna help with going into the office twice a week? Cause that's a change, like for you, you've been working from home for the last while, I would assume? <laughs> okay. So now it's time to learn... No, wait, I think I am still having to do it like this. I'm gonna do this. Perfect. Now... I want to check... If it's possible to move him into a box... and still keep the flash effect or if that's now gone okay that is not gone so i can in fact do that <sighs> that is my response beavis i have worked for too many companies that say make decision figure out later if at all that, that reminds me very, very much of the job that I chose not to go back to last year. Very much, uh, this is what we've decided. Lots of buzzwords and be going, um, hello, how is that actually going to be implemented given all of these things that it conflicts with? Oh, well, we just thought that you guys would actually be more, you know, accepting of our policy changes. And I'm like, okay, at no point in time did I say I did not accept it. I just wanted to know what your plan was for implementation, given all of the ways in which I can no longer do my job under that new policy. Did you? Oh... Beavis, that sounds really bad, though, because, like, saying heck it doesn't make it gone. Oh. Well, that is not pleasant. That's... Ah. Uh, I, d I d um, Do you guys have good masks? Can I send you good masks if you need good masks? Uh, that's such a silly thing to demand, though. Like, it just doesn't make sense. If, like, if work is being done, there's no particular reason that it needs to... Like, why you gotta change the things that are working? Fine. Oh, hello. Uh... Wait, what? So he's not even in the office! I'm experiencing extreme feelings of sass. Right there. That's a good offer, Cobra. But that sucks. Sorry, why was that just extreme evil? I was not paying attention to what that was. Oh well. My pony is not very strong. Oh, payback. Oh shoot. That gets stronger if I if I hit you first. Oh well. That honestly, like Yeah. And I can see that. And so like as long as it's something that like you're cool with and there are ways for you to be safe, it's not inherently a bad thing. 
And so that's good that, like, you're, you're seeing hopeful zones of, like, okay, maybe it'll be easier for you to do your job really well. And that's good. But also, I'm just very valiantly on the side of, cool, and how are you, as a company, going to equip and enable things so that your people can be safe? Because that matters to me a lot. Interesting. My gosh. They really just want me to fight everything in this cave, is what I'm learning. Chat. And would you believe, I think this cave is optional, and we're just here, you know? We're just here, we're just doing this. Why are they always so sturdy? <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh no. <laughs> On the one hand, I am so sorry that your friend shattered their wrist. On the other hand, Dr. Armbone, like, a way to understand your calling in life. <laughs> you cannot make stuff like that up. That is fantastic. And on the other hand, nothing, because it's broken. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, well, I'm really glad that Dr. Armboat exists, for one. Um, and I really hope that they're incredibly helpful to your friend as they're trying to navigate everything about that. <laughs> I love nominative determinism. It's one of my favorite things to, like, study in literature and stuff like that. Uh, yes. I would like to break this. Dr. Fear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait. What was the name of the dentist in Rocky Horror Picture Show? Who has a talent for causing great pain? Okay, so I think... I'm gonna go up this way. Yeah, okay, let's keep going up. And then let's go this way. Yeah? Well, to be fair, Beavis, neither have I. <laughs> I know a lot about it, because um, I went to university for music, and so I knew a lot of theater kids. Um, and I know that it is extremely popular with theater kids. Is there like a better way that I could wreck this guy? Let me see. Because this is still going to take me two moves, but... Watch party, you have it on DVD? Ooh! Discord watch party. But see, is it good? I mean, you would almost think it has to be because of its, like, cast. But what's the dentist's name? Cobra? What's the dentist's name? So, if I smack it down, does that mean levitate no longer applies and I can use bulldoze? This is, this is what I'm aiming to try. Cool. I don't know which of my moves are sealed. Okay, so I can hit it. So that is a good answer to levitate. It's just kind of unfortunate that it's again a two move combo instead of like a one. Oh! You know what? You're right. Dr. Frankenfurter. Yes. I am thinking of Little Shop of Horrors. You're right. 
both of them are things I haven't seen. Both of them have a cast that is star-studded, and both of them are very popular with theater and musical kids. Scrivello? See, that doesn't have the same nominative determinism that I would have expected and enjoyed. Yes, and are both musicals. Like, I, I very much got them confused, apparently. I wonder how long in my life I have confused those things. Is Geodude gonna try to evolve? Sir? Bobbery. Sir. Admiral. You do not have Earthquake. You get back in that Geodude form. Okay, we have allergies, and we have a bunch of level 26s. Fantastic. I should probably at some point, like, care about making a second party for, like, catching stuff that's weak. And I also should probably use that more. Oh, hello. I found an escape rope. That's fantastic. So now I could escape if I wanted to. But instead, we're gonna keep going. Um, this is an interesting cave so far. It's very square. And by square, I mean grid-like, which is not actually a square. Very grid-like. Oops. No, I would like to do Gosh, Smackdown is such a great rock move to have. I love the existence of that move. Did he just use Imprison two turns in a row? My dude. You're not helping yourself here. That bronzer needs a trainer. Can I go straight here, or should I go down? Ah, no. I see a person. That means no. There are so many rocks. There are so many rocks to smash. There's so much happening in this cave. But it's very grid-like. This dead end is suspicious. Okay, fine. My suspicions are incorrect. There's just so much grid. And so many things like this. Yes, great. Allergies. Again. Okay, so... The Bobbery plan works. So we're gonna continue with the Bobbery plan. But I wish I was catching more Geodudes. Or running into more geodudes, I guess. Like, I don't think it knows either Smackdown or Bulldoze, so... It's a little bit of me that's just like... He's wasting his time there with Imprison. Ooh, confusion. Yes. Definitely. Definitely a good choice. Okay. Oh, a Zubat. At least that's different. Hey there, little flying mouse. Hey there. So astonishing. Such astonish. Um, 
Let's go with Spark. Boop. I have padded you with static electricity. And you appear to have fainted. Okay. So let's go up. Oh, I'm so close! is stressful. Okay, we got one. Okay, and we get two. We might be confused, but we're not so confused that we're gonna hurt ourselves, which is very important. Good job, Chiyuki. Good job. There we go. Here we are. Here we are. Um. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we were doing, Chad. This was our plan the whole time. So the cave that we're in right now, um, I do actually think is optional content. I don't think we need to do this, but we might as well, because it exists and it's fun and there's trainers and stuff. But there's also this little girl. I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon and then it got lost. I'm so scared. Doesn't she look scared? Chat, does she not look scared? Very scared. That might be the one thing I would say about this. I love the update that they've done. I love the like animating that they've done and the 3D rendering and stuff. But like, they have no expressions. Mira is unfamiliar. Have you never done Wayward Cave, Petulant Cobra? Because I'll be honest, I don't do it every time that I play through the, like, Gen 4 originals and stuff. Because it's one of the places where you actually need Flash, and Flash isn't an HM in this game. And so you don't need it to progress the story. And so I'm always like, why would I waste my time teaching Flash to a Pokemon that I'm then never gonna use? And so, like, I've definitely skipped it before. But I think it's also very easy to miss. Because, like, this whole area you never have to go into. And so, like, that one trainer... I don't know. But it's interesting. Great. So, like, yeah, we're in Wayward Cave. It's a grid. And you need Rock Smash to go through it. Which is the other thing. Because I think in Gen 4, Rock Smash is also not an HM. Rock Smash is a TM in, um, in, like, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. And so you actually need two non-hidden move, optional moves, that you then use out of combat. And, like, you do need Rock Smash in other areas of the game in order to navigate them, at least. And so you probably have that. But, like, Rock Smash and Flash, really... But yeah, so this is Mira. She was hunting for Pokemon. She got lost and is scared. Please take me to the exit. And so who am I to say no to this poor lost child? I, the 10-year-old child, am going to I'm going to help them. It it is a niche combo. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. And she actually has an expression for that. Like, I don't know why I'm more scared by that, but I think I'm more scared by that. Railroading? 
<laughs> yeah, where is my option to say no? I'm not going to be friends. It was the same with Cheryl when we went through a turn of forest and Cheryl was like, would you mind coming with me? And we're like, we've decided. Yep, I just, I'm just, we're fine. Okay. So this was part of the reason, because what I know about Wayward Cave, I don't have the map memorized, so this is going to be really interesting to try to, like, navigate or anything like that, but there's two paths. There's one path that you need um, Rock Smash for, and there's one path that you don't. But if you take the path that you don't, you have to fight a whole bunch of double battles. And without Mira, you have to do that by yourself without anybody healing you in between. And so if you take the Rock Smash path to get to Mira, you then get a better chance, like, exploring the cave and, and fighting the trainers and stuff like that. So, like, that's what I remember. We're here. Yes, that's true. If you, if you leave the woods, like, if you backtrack and leave the woods, she'll stay behind. This one, I think, because it's leaving the cave, it's like as soon as I get to the cave, she's going to leave and I won't have her anymore. So I actually need to avoid the cave entrance for a little while. And I wish I knew where all the hidden items were in this cave, because, like, obviously there's hidden items. You know? But not here! Oh, hello. I almost just ran willy-nilly into that. Huh. Well, we're here. Might as well. You look like you might have the Pokemon that I've been looking for. In deep tunnels and caves, there are a couple things you're sure to see. Zubat and Ruin Maniacs. I think we have a collector and a Ruin Maniac chat. Hello, SMK! Nice to see you. How are you doing? Ooh, Geodude. I can deal with Geodude. Go allergies! Oh, you've got a Kadabra. Good job, Mira. I'm gonna sneeze on this Geodude. Please tell me. Why wouldn't you do the super effective? Your Psybeam is super effective against the Ghastly. Sir, I just want to point out that we could have one hit KO'd this team. It's just rude. And then you wouldn't have had to take that hit if you just Psybeam. I'm glad you're doing good. That's really nice to hear. We caught ourselves a stumpy and we named it Beavis. That's what's happened so far. Um, cool. Well, I'm gonna continue doing this. It's a bad idea, but here we are. So I, I'm fighting this combat knowing full well that what I have is not the best option for beating these guys, and I'm just sort of hoping that this Kadabra friend improves my odds of winning slightly so that I can specifically have allergies out. Um, oh, another ghastly. Wow. They each have three. We might have to get into real strats if the Kadabra faints. Oh, we'll just keep doing this. Get the ghastly. Good job. Good job. Good job, Mira. You're learning. Reverse sneeze. Ooh. Oh my gosh, they're just beating up this Kadabra. Okay, hit the ghastly, hit the ghastly, hit the ghastly. Do it. Not me. Nice. Nice. Okay. So the collector is out of the picture. Now we just need to deal with the Ruin Maniac. I think that means that Kadabra can't use Confusion. 
What does this even do? Oh, insomnia. That doesn't help. I don't really want that. Let's just try to paralyze him a little bit. I think that the sealed move means that this Kadabra might not have anything that it can hit the bronzer with anymore. Which means I might actually have to change my strategy. Which is fine. I'm very coolly, like, counting too much on Mira as it is. So it's probably good. Oh, that was aimed at me. Okay, you know what? We'll let our fire horse have a turn for a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a couple hits. Oh no, you confused the Kadabra! I like how it politely turned to face the bronzer and then turned back. Don't hurt yourself. Ooh, reflect! Good moveset. Reflect, Kinesis, Side Beam, and or Confusion, one of the two. Okay, down goes the bronzer fine. Everything's fine. We're totally safe, chat. Et voila. You didn't have a single Pokemon I wanted you to know, Collector? Excuse me, sir. We have collected every Pokemon we have met so far. How rude. chat and this one I actually am gonna allow so what happens when allergies evolve they get real pretty and floral congratulations your allergies evolved into Rosalia so to me this is very funny and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to name the buddy allergies because one of the things to which I am like I struggle to breathe levels of allergic are roses. So if this Pokemon were real, it would be very deadly to me. Because <laughs> that, I believe, is like a one-two punch of roses right there. The flower ladies are what would- or sorry, the aroma ladies. The aroma ladies, if they were real, they would be the ones that would beat me every time. Because I would just be like, I need an EpiPen. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, sure. You know what? Why not? I would love to have moves that actually do something. So I will take Poison Sting over Worry Seed. And then we shall see. Hooray! Is there actually nothing down here? No, there is. There is. That's good. And it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. So we fought these guys, um, and we very happily now have a Rosalia instead of a Badu, which is great. So we've missed, uh, I think, Mega Drain and Magical Leaf, but I think we still evolved them in time to get Petal Dance. Uh, I'll double check that at some point. It'll be fine. And, and maybe also Giga Drain. I'm not actually sure when that gets learned. I think they might learn something at, like, level 30. But... Uh, that means we need to get more serious about training up our fire horse because we have a lot of level 20 sexes here and then poor little Callie is only level 22. So even though it is a bad idea, well, it's a good idea to save. Always save. That's a, that's a very good idea. Even though it's a bad idea to have Callie out first in a cave, um, we're going to do it because we at least have Mira helping us out here. Ooh. Okay, okay. So, Kadabra, work with me here. You need to use your psychic attack on the bat, because it's poison type. And so that'll that'll be like good. 
and I'll use my fire on the steel type. Okay, sure. Or you could use Kinesis, that's fine too. Oh, I just love that they turn. In the double battles, that they just turn to face our little opponent, and you're like, oh, that's really polite. Let's look us each other in the eye before I just, you know, flame charge you to fainting. It's fine. Astonish. How astonishing! Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna do this. Fire! <laughs> yeah, my goodness, you have Psy Beam. Mm. Delightful. Yay! Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I can't go that way. I just want to, like, check every single one of these rocks. Ooh. This one? Nice. Nice. Caves really are, like, really- like, they're just sneaky little places. They're just sneaky little places. So they hide a bunch of things. Okay. Oh, never mind. We're fighting a wild Pokemon battle right next to this camper and this picnicker, and they're probably not gonna notice, is my guess. Huh. Okay, good, good targeting. Good targeting, I agree with that targeting, Mira. Good job. We're learning to work as a team. Ish. Oh, wow. That was powerful. So powerful. Okay, so now we're gonna fight these guys, Mira, okay? Okay. I just love the idea that this little girl is so scared like, frightened and alone in the corner of this cave, and then a ten-year-old comes along, and is just like, no, I'll help you out, and then drags them all around this cave, making them fight everything in it, and then goes, there you go, you're fine now, here, be free. It's like, did I even really do them a favor? Or am I just being cruel? It's important to ask oneself these sorts of questions, just in case. We're accidentally the bad guy. Because if I've learned anything from Kimenzel streams, it's that we're often accidentally the bad guy. Oh no, there's a Bweasel. That Bweasel could really do some damage to my fire horse. Please hit the Bweasel. Nice. Sidebeam is a great move. I can't wait for my cadaver to learn it. Nice. Ooh, a Shinx! My gosh, that was adorable. Coming out of the ball with its paws spread. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so glad I have one. Okay. Um. Okay, so whichever one Kadabra hits should go down, assuming Kadabra uses Psybeam. Okay. Great. But that Shinx might no bite, which might be bad for the Kadabra. Which is fine, because Mira is just gonna... Just gonna heal them up afterwards. Because apparently, even though she's lost alone in this cave... She just had the money to make bank on having revives and potions. And all sorts of other things, which we know to be very expensive. 
So obviously, like, her parents are rich, I guess. Let's tackle. Oh, maybe instead of having potions and stuff, she actually has one of those machines that they have in Poké Centers, like in her bag. That's the only way I can excuse the fact that she also seems to have elixirs. That wasn't any fun for me. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'll be honest, you just sort of attacked me, so... Was it supposed to be fun for you, Picnicker? I'm just gonna fight wild Pokemon right next to him again. Ooh. Synchronicity. Yay! Good job, Kadabra! Good job! Boop! Yay! Kelly leveled up! Nope. This button. Got it. So this is the rock that has the sneaky secret. Fabulous. Okay, so I feel pretty confident that we've covered all of the cave up to here, because I've been able to see it all, but now it goes in two directions. Um, and I like very much don't know where I am in it. What happens when we go forward? Ah, okay, perfect. So there is only one direction that we can go. Ooh, hello. Nice. Okay, I'm glad we went that way. So I think we have to go up. Lovely. Okay, we fighting? <gasps> Geodudes! They're just in, s in such good sync. Meanwhile, we exist. Um... Yeah. Let's throw a water Pokemon at them. Oh, he's sturdy. Why would you do such a thing so cruel? <gasps> They're beating me up, chat! Isn't that so rude? I think it's rude. So rude. Hurting my poor little Piplup this way. But I shall have my revenge. <laughs> no. Tiptron, you stay as a sweet little penguin for now. Thank you. Ha. So I think I came from down here. So I'm gonna keep going this way. Yeah, we haven't been here. Because we haven't destroyed this. Okay, let's fight these guys. What's up? 
<clears throat> it is very dry in my apartment chat. And it means that when I talk for long stretches of time, I cough a lot. Ooh, Silcoon and Cascoon? The pleasant looking one and the mean looking one. Let me fight the mean looking one. Okay, good coordination. Good job. Very nice. Also there. Ooh. Wow. He went down hard to that. I like it because I've been using flame charge this whole time. I'm actually faster than the Kadabra now. Because Kadabras and Alakazams have stats. They're like very fast. I said I'm gonna win. Oh, okay. Oopsies. I guess I must have misheard you. Bobbery, sir, I'm gonna need you to stay in this form for a little while longer, please. Same with you, sweet little lion cub. As much as I as much as I enjoy your future forms, I need you to have certain skills first before I allow this. Thank you. Okay. So we just get the obvious. Ooh, a rare candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. So now we backtrack. And I think we haven't gone down this way. Mostly because I don't know how we could have. So I care about that and I would like to smash that rock, but in a minute, because I want to not get lost. There we go. There's a lot of dead ends in this cave and it's actually really hard to keep track of where I've been and I don't want to like miss anything. Ah, come play with me. Hush now, lost little Pokemon. Don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. Um, okay. Ooh, very cute. Okay, what's a good strategy here? Ooh. Veneri is the only one that the last has. So my chosen strategy is I'm going to try to knock out the Veneri pretty quickly so that we only have to deal with one round of attacks from their end. <gasps> you would dare headbutt me, how could you? I am so fast. Okay, so down goes the Baneri. Which breaks my heart, because Veneri does look like a rabbit, and I love rabbits a lot. And then I think down goes the Bidoof, because that's just a powerful move. Wow. Oh, he's got a Zubat. Good for you. Oops. I targeted that incorrectly. Thankfully, the game is not a jerk. Woohoo! 
level 24. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if the Apom is like catchable in this game. So spoopy! Such astonish! Great job. However. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sniffle, who's crying now? I'm not crying, you're crying. Okay. Uh, oops. I think I glitched Mira in the middle of her walk animation. Uh, are you, are you okay there, honey? Are you, are you okay? Just, it's fine. A long way to go for such little reward. So we found another dead end, which is great. Um, yes, let's let's use a rock smash now. And then let's go down this way. Okay, cool. That definitely is also a dead end. Fabulous. Oh boy. So let this be a lesson, chat. Don't just wander around eating random mushrooms when you don't know what they're gonna do. All right, I'm slightly intimidated. 15 and 17, huh? So I'm not gonna risk it because I think rock and ground are really bad for fire. <laughs> so I'm not gonna risk it. That being said, I am now using a plant, which is weak to rock, but not to ground. Well, we'll see. Let's start by... wrecking that onyx. Kadabra, could you maybe use a move that does damage? I, I hate it. I hate to be rude, actually, Mira. Never mind. You, you, you teach your... You teach your Pokemon however you need to. Okay. I am trusting you to use a move that does damage, though, because this Geodude is probably also sturdy. <gasps> Sweet! The Geodude is not sturdy. Good to know. Or at least that one isn't. Oh, chat. Allergies has 69 hit points. Nice. That's gonna change because they're going to level up at some point. But for now, nice. A Machop. Unexpected. that guy just say he strayed from the battle plan when he literally used rock polish twice in a row at the start of combat? 
Sir, that is not a plan. That is a poorly executed intention at best. Okay. So now I can go up and around and back down here. And I think this way. Yeah. Because there are the hikers. Just double check this. Great. Perfect. So that is Wayward Cave. Um, this is, again, totally optional content on this route right now. Um, but as you can see, it worked out really well for us because, again, these trainers all have kind of the same level of Pokemon as everybody that we're running into right now. So it was a really good opportunity to fight them now to get a little bit stronger and also to get my allergy evolved. Uh, so so those have, those have become just extra super powerful. And we let Mira find her way out. Oh, there's the exit! I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Lady QEW, bye-bye! Thank you! You know what? That's fair. And it's also kind of adorable. Okay. So that is Cave the First. Now the thing is... I think somewhere here... There's like a Cave the Second... And I don't really know where that is. Okay. This is not a great matchup for me. Um, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. We're just trading tackles. Oh my gosh, Diagonals, please cooperate with me. You're supposed to be my friend. Yo, Cricketoon. Boop. Gosh. Level 27s and a level 24. I think two level 24s because I think my Kadabra is also a level 24. So, this is interesting. I do not know where this is. I will admit that. I know that it is, but I do not know where it is. Ooh, stunky. Unfortunately for you, stunky. We have already met you, and we already have a friend. Wow. <gasps> Rude! If I flinch again... Okay, good. Thank goodness. Okay, phew. I thought now this might be my misunderstanding I thought that there were two entrances to Wayward Cave and that one of them was a secret but I don't know what's been changed in the updated gen chat Okay, so it doesn't seem to be there. So I know there's another entrance in... Like the original Diamond and Pearl? Heck.
Hmm. I might have to come back. Hello. I'm not supposed to be using this, am I? I don't think so. Here? Whoa ho ho! Well, well. <gasps> nice! Okay, perfect. That is what I wanted to know. So there is actually a hidden area of this cave as well, but we need strength to get through it. Apparently, I am learning, so we shall have to come back. Um, but we have learned it is right near the back and on the left. So that is good information to have. Sweet. Okay. Oh, hello. We have more skunk. Wow. That one's that one's kind of sad. Another one! Beavis, you have so many family and friends here. A huge amount of damage. Aftermath is like more effective than their actual combat skills. It's okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm not sure I'll be fine. <sighs> I don't know how much damage this guy did. 12. Okay. We're not gonna risk it. Um, we are going to bring out our penguin friends, and our penguin friend is going to help us out. Aftermath is rough. Like, I don't, you'll, you guys will probably see this as, um, my Pokemon continue to, like, level up and earn new moves. I don't like moves that, um, do recoil damage. I don't like moves like after, oh, 25% of their max health. No wonder that was so vicious. Cause like, I think um, often like Drifloon has, um, like often has aftermath. And so apparently Skunky, Stunky and Skunk Tanks might as well. But like, it's rough. Or like the poison points on Rosalia's. There's so many things that can like hurt you when you win that I'm like, that's... I prefer to avoid. But it does make me think, oh no, the Stunky that I caught that I named Beavis does not have Aftermath. Is Beavis gonna like, could I get a better Beavis? Yeah, exactly. Takes a hundred damage for the trouble. It's just so broken. Yeah, I hope that's okay, Beavis. <laughs> but I'm actually trying to like name mine a little bit more episodically and it made me giggle. But I realize I probably should have asked first. And so if you want me to change it, I can change it. Totally cool it and totally cool with it. <laughs> Do not mean to sit there. <laughs> True. You know what? That's fair. If I paid a little more attention to abilities. <laughs> I'm so happy with my team chat. 
They're coming together. They're working hard. We have such a high level. And I'm impressed. I think I need... Yeah. Okay. I'm not very good with the bike. So... Whoa. Intense. Okay. Now for real. All of that was just backtracking to explore more Route 206. But according to the game, we're supposed to go on to Route 207. Ooh. A potential double battle. <laughs> Paris is either damp or dry skin. Yeah. <laughs> The two different kinds. Are you oily or are you dry? That is very funny. I enjoy that. Okay, these guys might be alright. Uh, who do I want? Because I know I want Callie out for a double battle. Let's do this. Petulant Cobra, you mean you told me an untruth? Gasp! I am betrayed. Okay, let's fight these guys. Wow! Oh my goodness! That's fantastic. That is extra funny when you think about, like, um, so specifically, like, beauty products and stuff for women will often ask you questions about, like, uh, is your skin dry, is your skin oily, is your sc scalp dry or oily or stuff like that, and when they describe it, I'm like, bold, 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 bold. I, I just, just depends on where. I, I have like a lot of skin, even, even on my face. Like, but, but, bow? And then they're just like, well, but then what am I supposed to try and sell you? And I'm like, I don't know, that seems like a you problem. I mean, that conversation has never been that. Sorry. Tiptron is dozing off, it must be sleepy. Am I taking too long for this choice? skin on your face in this economy? I know. Wow. Rude. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be super effective. That's okay. You know what else is super effective? The, the, that, the, that. The, that, that, that. Probably should have used Bubble Bean. It's fine. We're fine, chat. We'll be fine. Okay, thank goodness. So we knocked out the one that can really do damage to us. <laughs> cool. Flap. No one can afford to have skin in this economy. How ridiculous. Very nice. Now level 25. Ooh, flame wheel. Let's please take a look at flame wheel. Ooh, I like it. Yes, it is okay to forget growl and learn flame wheel. That's pretty fantastic. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. That was funny. You guys are in sync. You make a good team. <sighs> I do think the evolution screen is very beautiful. It's a very pretty screen. But I do not allow. Ooh, a hiker. Ooh, he turned around while I was thinking. Whoops. Oh well. Let's see what happens.
Not an ideal matchup. Let's throw some allergies at this guy. I should probably have been paying attention to, like, what the next gym is and what I'll need for it. I think my issue is that I'm too confident. I'm too confident in my ability to pull off a Pokemon game. Ooh, I will switch Pokemon for that. Without, like, doing as much prep as I was doing for some of the sections in the paper games. But I should probably pay attention. That is a cool move! Nice. I like that move. That's a good move. That was a that was that was a good job. Good job, Pony. Good learning there. Oh I see. Hmm. That's interesting. Aha! Whoop! There's a random kid. He's probably gonna want to fight me. Um... I have no concept of what he has, so... Hello! Hello, small child. I wear shorts the whole year! I've got energy to burn! Oh my gosh, it's that guy. I found him. Chad, I found that kid. That kid who wears shorts the whole year. You know what? Just wait till you're old, Austin. Of course, your name's Austin. Ooh, Burb. Hello, Burb. Please meet my fire horse. Boop. Okay. What else does Austin have? Geodude. I am going to switch my Pokemon for a Geodude. Sure, we'll let it be tipped on. Dude wasn't sturdy. Chimchar. I will keep my current Pokemon actually. Because it works out for me. Again, it is so weird watching them have the starters. Like, random NPCs in this game just have these starter Pokemon, but I can't catch them, no. So I defeated this kid who wears shorts all year. Having lots of energy isn't good enough. You know what, kid? I will remember that you are here. Come on, one of these has got to be something, right? Oh, neat. Oop, that's a battle girl. Oop, that's a hiker. Okay. Very exciting. I think I'm going to go this way first. Since he's a hiker... We'll probably have something... That would typically be found in a cave. 
Aw, he's a laughing type. Hello. Hiker Kevin. How oh, nice. Nice to meet you, Kevin. I assume is how I'm supposed to pronounce that with a Y. Aw, oh, Rosalia looks so happy when you throw her out in combat. That's fantastic. Good job, allergies. Good job. You wreck that rock. Such power, such grace. I will keep my current Pokemon. This is nice. Guys are just feeding my photosynthesizing. What? Scary face. I don't think I want scary face though. Let's switch Pokemon. Zubat. I is electric. <laughs> Down goes the sea back. Wow, we're just getting all them level 28. Well, Sea Jinx, I was happy to have you here for those few minutes then. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a lovely day. We switch. We switch to allergies. I sneeze in reverse. Wow, you know what, Hiker Kevin? You were a lot more prepared than many. You had variety in your team, not much, but some variety in your team. You had like more than three Pokemon, I think. I think you had four. That's pretty impressive. I'm suspicious. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So just what I see. Very nice. We're finding a lot of very cool items. Okay, let's fight her. Okay, okay, let's be quick about this. You know what? That's how I feel too. Battle Girl Helen. Nice. Okay. Let's see what happens when I just continue to charge you with fire. Wow. I think I might be out leveling my opponents somewhat. Chat. Just somewhat. You survived that hit and you chose to use Leer. <sighs> no way! Give us another battle! Oh, right, I'm out of Pokemon. 
Honestly, Helen, great dialogue. Cool. There isn't anything here, right? Okay, perfect. I am so clumsy with this thing. My gosh, how do you bike? How is bike? My gosh. So I'm just gonna head back for a wee little bit. Just, you know, do a little bit of a heal before I go into the cave. Because, you know, it's a cave. So we'll fix everybody up real nice. And then we can continue on our way. Oops. I missed. I, I missed. I missed. Oh my gosh. I look like a small child learning how to ride a bike. As is appropriate. Okay, not the correct button. That is the correct button. Uh, I would, I would like to save my progress. Thank you. So I can't do anything with that water yet, as far as I know. So we're gonna go this way. More water. Okay. Cutscene. Oh, Chad, he looks so grumpy. Oh, he's so grumpy. Hello, Mr. Grumpy Pointy Hair. <clears throat> According to one theory, Mount Cornet is where the snow region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find this state of things to be deplorable. Okay, sir. Did I just hop up onto those stairs to get out of his way? Cool. So, he was in a Team Galactic uniform. That's great. Ooh, there's items and things to do here one day, but not today. Very small cave, delightful. Oh, oh, I can't get to that guy. Let's see ya. But I can get to this guy. Ga ha ha ha, you're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Well. Sir. Hiker Robert. Otherwise known as Bob? Oh, yeah, to be fair, you know what? I probably shouldn't try defeating you with a fire horse, so. Let's see if we can give you some allergies instead. Storm is an interesting one. Stealth Rock. I think I don't need this one. Yeah. I do not need this one. Oh no, I've been buffeted by a sandstorm. Oh, we'll keep it. Wow, neither of his Geodudes had sturdy chat. No. I'm a grown up, but I got served by some little kid. Yes. 
And as long as you have that attitude, you'll continue to get served. Ha. Okay. I will take this. It makes me fast. This karate man will pulverize you? That is unnecessarily violent, sir. I am small. I am very small. Oh, that was a really good toss, though. I enjoy that animation of the throw. Very enjoyable. Uh, let's see how many hits it takes for your Machop to go down. I think the answer might be two. Seriously, you're gonna waste a move on Leer? You're not gonna live long enough for that to matter. a lot that we cannot do here right now. We can't meet that guy because we can't surf. We can't meet that guy because we can't rock climb. We can't interact with that waterfall at all. So we're just going to go across the bridge and try and get this next hiker. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? I'll just... I'm, I'm, I'm happy to just feed you, sir. Yeah, this is dangerous though. He is rock type big rock. I will swap out for allergies. I don't know why, but for some reason, even knowing that this game does like permanent XP share, I feel like I want to um like, I feel like I want to have all my Pokemon at the same level always. And that's not going to work, because I'm not able to, like, catch them all at the same level. And so I think I might just have to get used to that. Sorry. Did you just... Did you just... Okay. You did just. That's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We're starved for food and now we're starved for a win. Sir, I will feed you. Really? There's nothing hidden here? Well, that's odd. Thanks, Mr. Bidoof. Another Pokeball that just looks like a Pokeball. That is the second time this game has baited me like that. Ooh. Okay, so that looks like an Aroma Lady. Ugh. The evolution chat. No, but for real, he usually learns water type moves, so... This is probably not a great idea. It is not a great idea. I'm gonna, um... Let's try. This might not work very well either. Because I'm not used to fighting Bibarels. Haunt is also a really interesting move to me. Because if I'm correct, I think what it does is make it so that you can only use moves that do damage. 
And I know it isn't the only way to play, but I'm pretty sure I exclusively use moves that do damage anyway, for the most part, unless I'm trying to catch a Pokemon. Ooh, I found some honey. Yum. Uh, hello? Oh! Fantastic. Um, okay. Do I think he's gonna fight me? I do kind of think he's gonna fight me. Let's do a save. Just real quick. Hello. Yes, he is gonna fight me. You and I, let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. I like that. I do not like this. You have creepy looking Pokemon, sir. I don't care that it's a baby. I'm just gonna wreck it. The Mime Evolutionary family is terrifying. Bonsly! Aw, Bonsly's cute though. Everybody's a level 28 except for Callie. Still two levels behind. So cute. But also such rock type. Oh, poor little Bonsly. Sorry, artist William. Magnificent! I'm aglow with inspiration. Cool. Habitat is unknown. How come so many people have caught it? It's fine. Habitat unknown. Okay. Oh. Oh. You need to use honey to find a Burmy. Okay. Okay. And honey can find a wormhole. Oh! Is honey the only way you can find a wormhole? I thought you could find it in a turn of forest. This is probably another honey one then. Yep. Eye palm is a honey? That's really interesting. Oh, and they don't know where I can find a Baneri. That's heartbreaking. Or even a Glamio? Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. I'll get a Goldeen as soon as I get a better fishing rod. And that's kind of what I expect. Wait. There's a potential to find a Mime Junior in this game? That is very interesting. And a Chansey, which is probably an extremely low percentage. And Habitat Unknown for Pikachu. Okay, interesting. I kind of just wanted to peruse through that and see... Um... Oh, you'd like to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. Alright. Them's fighting words, Aroma Lady Hannah. All I'm saying is them's fighting words. Ooh, Combi. I'm gonna have to check that one next to see if that's possible. I just kind of wanted to update like myself to make sure that I hadn't seen something that I could catch and hadn't then caught it. But it looks like most of the ones that I'm missing are ones where like I don't know where to go to get them or I just haven't been there yet. 
Lisa Page is now hosting my stream with 17 views. Well, well, well. Hello again, Lisa Page. Welcome back. Very lovely to have you. Oh, this is very lovely. Uh, my game. Hello? Hello? We are fine. I'm going to take a, a brief pause. We have some battle music to go with this, but welcome in, Lisa Page, and your little community. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for uh, thinking of me and dropping some people off. How are you doing today? How's your stream? I'm just going to drop a quick shout out to Lisa Page. Um, if you have not checked them out and you would be interested in seeing someone who apparently plays some retro gaming, oh, was there something specific you were playing? there over there in that retro category then it might be worth popping in and, and checking out their stream um for everybody coming in new and fresh i am lady 3w i am an unabashed nintendo fangirl i really enjoy nintendo content nintendo games in general um and i've been playing through the paper mario series but we're taking a little break to play through pokemon brilliant diamond and to just be super happy about all of the lovely little quality of life changes Link to the past. Ooh, I am very bad at that game without save states. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy it, and I'm very familiar with the map, though not with the game itself. Were you do any doing anything special, or just like speed running, or like some kind of challenge, or were you just playing through it and enjoying it? Cause that sounds lovely. My Pokemon is going well, by the way. Thank you for asking. We are very overleveled. We've done a bunch of optional content, and we're we're pretty good at catching the things that we want to catch. Just a casual playthrough. See, that's my favorite thing to do. I casually play through a whole bunch of the games in the Legend of Zelda franchise, like just for fun. I haven't done any of them on stream yet. They're they're ticked. I'm aware that they exist. I may at some point. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do a link to the past though, because I am not as good at that one as I am at some of the other ones. <sighs> but, you know, such is life. So, Rosalia. I think I'm going to keep my current Pokemon now that I'm actually going to be paying attention. Um, but yeah, thank you again. Thank you again for that read, Lisa Page. I appreciate it very, very much, Lee. Okay, now we're just going to light this rose entirely on fire. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, you know what, Aroma Lady Hannah? I do have you beaten. Maybe next time you should think twice before you just, like, casually say it won't take long to beat me. But that's okay. You know, that's okay. Perfect. Okay. We've been exploring. We've been told we need to go to Heart Home City, and we we're really taking our time getting there. Um mostly because I'm still kind of exploring all of the new sort of options of what you can do in this game. I'm trying to learn how to use the dowsing machine well, because it seems pretty awkward to have to just do this with any sort of regularity, but as far as I can tell, that's, that is working as intended. And we're okay with it. We're okay. Perfect. So, ooh, the Berry Master. Hello, sir. I would like to meet you. Hey, Menzel, welcome back from your lurk. Um, it feels like your entrance was about as good as your sneaking away. Yup. Yeah. That's a fun one. Okay, so I was told the Berry Master lives here. Oh, that is an interesting, definitely not the word grape. Cool. Yes. The town map shows me that? Does it? Interesting. That's weird. 
I definitely remember that differently, but that's okay. Oh! You can just buy some of them! Very cool. I will remember you are here. But also, you don't sell person berries. And that is heartbreaking. The values were equal. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually, Kimenzel. I accept that joke. That's a great joke. All I'm saying is I would definitely never feed berries to Pokemon. I would just eat them. You look fancy. Okay, so contest shows. That is a thing. That is apparently a thing that we are going to have hammered into our head because this is like the fourth NPC to mention them. Cool. That is a great question, Kimenzo. I do not know. Hmm. There's a this way out. Ah, we are being blockaded. You know what? It, like, that, you make a good point. I, I don't know. And I don't know if Poffins are eatable by the human- by- by persons of the human persuasion within this game. They might be a Pokémon only. Uh, cutscene, okay. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there! If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Buneary could have run. Baby Buneary, back into the Pokeball you go! I'm Kira! I'm a Super Contest Show judge! Yay! Another NPC that is gonna mention this. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly! Delightful. Uh, so I have to go to the contest hall. That's a chancy. Actually, hey. Okay, are you teaching are you teaching your Chansey how to dance? Because that's pretty cool. But also it's real cool that you have a Chansey. Good for you. Huh. I see. They are really plugging. Is he smiling? Okay. They're really plugging that whole contest thing. Cool! So we're gonna be showed the contest hall by this delightful fisherman. <gasps> That's a baby! Oh! And a cathedral of some sort? That's the contest hall. He's telling me to go inside, but this lady with the fancy hair is, uh, just a smidge in my way. Just a smidgen. Hello. Well, I'm so sorry. Please, excusez-moi. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, oh, oh. enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the heart home gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. As you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger, then you may challenge me. I'll be honest, Han. If the challenge is a fashion challenge, I am never going to beat you. You look fire in that gown. Um, but yeah. This is apparently the contest hall. Oh, my hero! Oh. Hi, Lady QEW, says my mom! What is my mom doing here? What? No, really? Joanna's your mom? My mom has a name! Excuse you, Pokemon! I do not think you know the rules! My parents are called Mom and Dad! <laughs> so you might be a super contest show star? Oh, I don't know about that. 
I've never spoken to Lady QEW about Super Contest, so my mother keeps secrets from me! This is my overdramatic response. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh yes, that's right! I need to thank you for earlier! Please take this sticker! Place that sticker on one of your ball capsules before a show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, so come join us for all kinds of fun! Oh, practice sessions. Wow. Oh no, Kate Ansel! You know what? I almost want to spoil this. So we can't fight the gym in this city yet. We've just been told we can't. So the gym is here and we can't we can't get a badge from it currently. But she definitely this gym leader definitely uses ghost type Pokemon, which is kind of like undead. Or as close as you can get to undead in this game. And so like all I'm saying is there's gonna be ghosts in this town eventually. Were you surprised to see me, Lady QEW? Gee, no. No, I was not. Not at all. I'm shocked, Mother. You've never told me about this. I got bored, so I came out to Hartholme for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But aren't you serious about entering Super Contest shows? Not dressed that way! It's your Pokémon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. And she gives me a dress. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the super contest shows, honey. Ah. You've been here before, mother. You've been here before. Yeah, you know what, Kay Menzel? Don't ask questions. Just accept the dress. This is, this is what I'm learning. Okay. Fantastic. Lots of different kinds of berries. Very exciting. Uh, this odd keystone is frowning at me. <laughs> or an entirely reflective, like, disco ball sack so that there's just even more light on our Pokemon. I agree. Oh gosh, I should absolutely sell those things. So where is the dress? Say sus to the dress coming to K-Mental TV in 20... 202? I mean, I think it's pretty talented if you could offer something on K-Mental TV in the year 202. I think you meant to put 2022, but I'm just teasing you. Cool! So having a dress is apparently not a thing that I can choose to wear. It just is a thing I have. Oh, 2020, huh? I get it. I understand. I understand now. Hello? You exist? Um, sorry. Do you see how fabulous this photo is, Chad? That is so fabulous. Wow. I will never win these contests. So apparently I'm gonna need a poffin case. Great. Oh my gosh. This is complicated. Okay, cool. So that is like its own little side game if we want it. Which, like, maybe we do. I'm not sure. I have done very little exploring of the underground. I'm, I just... It's fine. You know? It's fine. Where? Aw, oh, you've got a bunch of these. That's cute. So. Wow. 
Wow. There is no music here. That is... The echo of the footsteps is great. Honestly impressed. What is this? The Poffin House? Okay. Um, Pokemon Fan Club. Well, I'm a fan of Pokemon. Hello? case. Well, that's nice. So now I could technically go to the Poffin House and try to learn how that works. Where, where am I? Oh, I see. I don't even know what building I'm in right now. But gosh, the elevator animation is cute. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. If I remember correctly, the shell bell allows the Pokemon to regain a little bit of health every time, like every turn. Kind of a neat one. Or it might be every time it damages something. I don't remember precisely. I'm sure we could look it up. That is the gym. We are not allowed there. need to go to the Lost Tower, because that guy found a strength item there. I do remember you, BB, but it is intimidating that you could research me? So apparently, uh, I am the new hot thing in the Pokemon universe, chat. Everybody knows about me, is what is what I'm learning. Or at least the sysadmin does. <laughs> You're funny, K Menzel. And I think that's especially funny to me, because it's the sysadmin in this game that does research and learned all about me. I, I just, you know, I just notice things like that sometimes. Game just says things. Ooh, mushroom, mushroom. Okay, so what is going on with Amity Square? You have a Pikachu, so you can go for a stroll with cute Pokemon. Oh, my Piplup! I love this. <laughs> this adorable thing? Nah. This cute thing? Nah. This dude? Okay, that's kind of understandable. This sweet little thing? Nah. But this one? This one is it. Okay, I just accept.
Oh my gosh. Well, let's go for a little- Oh, so cute! I'm sorry. You are just the cutest thing. Oh, glitter! Oh, you almost tripped! Oh, you're so adorable. Okay, this is like unbelievable. Ooh, an item. Look at how cute my penguin is. She's so cute. I'm finding things. No. Did I just make you disappear by moving too fast? I'm sorry. Tipchan is looking endearingly at you. Adorable. Oh, you can turn berries into poffins. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a ridiculous... Oh no, that's like when we had to make a cake as peach. I can't handle that level of stress. But, you know, good news is I can cook poffins if I want to. Interesting. Okay, so actually that is pretty adorable. I enjoy that. Oh my gosh, you've got a drifloon? I'm impressed. I found a spooky plate? What are you thinking, Tiptron? What are you thinking? Oh, you're enjoying the walk? <gasps> There's a something in here. I found it. Gosh, having my little penguin run after me is so cute. Hello, friend. Aww, I just love the little... Hello? Okay, we're fine. That was a weird message, but we're fine. Cool! Uh Okay. How, how well that was a very nice helpful statement, lady. Oh, sweet. Hello, friend. That's cute. Okay, that's new. In the original ones, um you can't do that. So that's very new. Oh, hi there, Whisper Whisper. Nice to see you again. Yes, it was, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I played the original gen. Um, fun times. Oh, hey, little sweetie. Do you, do you run too? Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna check in at the Pokemart. For a hot minute. Did you get stuck? I don't I don't understand how this works. Okay, so I'm just gonna check it at the Pokemon to see what kind of Pokeballs I can buy. Oh interesting. So we're still only in Pokeball territory. I have 15 of them. Okay. I'm going to take the risk and I'm not going to get anything. 
I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay, thank you. Uh. What? Okay, man's all. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Lady KW! Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get this show started. I actually haven't watched it yet, um, which may be a little bit odd. I had some stuff going on yesterday that meant I couldn't catch it live, and so then I was waiting for uh, one of my favorite streamers to post their VOD of their review of it, uh, because I am wanting to see the reaction along with the announcement. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So he has... Okay, so okay, Benzel, you flung a level 19 Starly at me. Um, somehow I don't think you're going to be winning this fight. Ooh, Tiptron, good job. Level 29. Brian, yes please. Yes, I would like Brian actually, thank you. Brian is good move. That's true. Okay, Menzel did spoil the names of the games for me already. I was very confused. <laughs> okay. So, 40, 65, 65. Oh, wow. Uh... Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll... To be fair, Twitter definitively also had some spoilers on there, but... I don't know very much about what the announcement contained or anything like that, so I am looking forward to watching it. And yes, most likely, like, pretty much right after stream. Okay, so the problem that I'm having with this is that, like, do I really just want three water moves? I feel like I probably do. Three water and a flying isn't that bad. This will be fine. Yes, I would like brine. Yes. Yes. Please stop making the, the cutie little cats evolve into terrifying things that are not cats. I agree. Purple is a fantastic color. Violet seems like it's going to be a great game. That's all. That's all. Oh, okay, Menzel, you have a Bweasel? That's very cool of you. You have a water type. You have learned. Oh yeah? I'll show you something wicked too. Did did I say I was going to show you something wicked? I just think all the cat forms are super cute. And I wish that they just left them as cats, please. Pony ta? Okay, Menzel, you have a pony? It took me a long time to have a pony. I think Glammeow is really cute, but the fact that it evolves into Per Ugly or something like that, I'm like, that's just rude though. Just rude. <gasps> the Ponyta! It used Tail Whip! Kmenzel, you're lowering the defense! Chonk Princess Kitty? Yeah. I just don't like its name. Its name sounds rude. K Menzel, at no point in time, and I cite this, at no point in time have I told you you can't have a pony. Thank you. <laughs> that is correct. Okay, Grottle, Grottle, you have a Grottle. Uh, Grottle is, at the very least, grass. I don't remember when it also becomes ground. I think at some point. But we're gonna put a burb out. We're gonna fight it with a burb. 
Everybody should have ponies. That's my opinion. My pony is named Callie. She's fire. Wow. This very cute little turtle. Ooh, stealth rock. Spooky and stealthy rocks. Whisper Whisper is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Hacha! And down goes the grotto. I have defeated you! Kemenzo, I have won! What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Oh, he looks so mad! He looks so mad! Such angry face. I'm sorry, sir. Maybe you should try having six Pokemon. Which I know eventually. Eventually. I'm pretty sure he will. Angry boy. Why? You KO'd my team again? This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning. One day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Veilstone Gym next. See you around. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. Okay. Hey, Pip Pop. You're so cute. I love this. I love this. I love this little penguin. The little penguin. The little penguin. Okay. Because we did just get attacked. And no provocation. So let's heal up. I think I always miss Piplup whenever I'm playing. Piplup is like one of my favorite starters. So cute. So cute. Oh, look at it. Look at it just walking behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so cute. I've never played Sword and Shield. I think I have Shield. Um, but I got it recently, and I also got this recently, and so I'm playing this first. But that's a shame that that, that that penguin was not your favorite. Okay, I might be wrong. I love this. It's got a little star next to it. I might be wrong about this, but I just want to quickly drop this boy off. For a split second. Hello. Yeah, I would like a Pokemon egg. Thank you very much. A penguin with an ice cube for a head? Hmm. So I need to travel with energetic Pokemon to hatch this egg. I will be honest. I will hatch eggs later. We're not we're not gonna do the hatch thing now. But I don't know what comes out of this egg. It has been a long time since I've done egg hatching in this game. Okay. So we've been told. We've been told that Kemenzel is going to Veilstone. Which is all the way over there. My gosh, what a trek. The, the like, amount of game you have to play between Pokemon Gym Badge 2 and Pokemon Gym Badge 3 is quite something. Oh, that's very thoughtful. 
Okay, so I have to go all the way here to challenge my next gym. And I'm going to be stopping at Salation Town on the way and the Lost Tower near there is where we get strength, we've been told. Okay, so we have a lot of errands to run. I wonder if I can make it to Salation Town. There is a Rex stone pillar up ahead, I see. I see, I see. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I am going to put you there. I am going to save. I've seen 50 Pokemon! Chat, 50! Oh wow. Eevees. So that person looks like a Pokemon breeder to me. Um, hello. Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. Well, you would. You would. Ooh. If it's a 50-50 chance for that, that is a long time. Okay. So, I am not very effective against rocks, um, but also Fonsley is only a level 16. So let me just see what happens when I punch him with fire. Okay, not very effective with rocks. Yeah, that's not going to go well for me if that continues. So, let's sneeze on him. That's my plan. 12%. That is low. Alfred or Al, whatever, whatever your, whatever your name was, I super appreciate you being here because it would probably be really hard to spy some of these Pokemon if you weren't here to just show them to me. Oh, but also, I have a very powerful team and so you're probably going to lose this battle. Albert. That was it. Badu! Yes! I will switch my Pokemon. Badu! So cute! So cute! And so flammable! Hi! Oh, you poisoned me. Rude. Well, thanks, Albert. I'm glad to know that you think my Pokemon are in impeccable condition. Uh, we're gonna go back this way, Piplup. Cool. See, now I don't want to run everywhere because this cute little Piplup is following me and he can't keep up when I run. Well, look how cute. Look how cute it is. So unbelievably cute. Uh, yes, I would like you to heal my Pokemon because this rude plant poisoned my horse. And I don't want my pony to be hurted. Thank you. Okay. 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 Ugh, the way it runs. The way it runs to keep up. Just can't handle it. 
Chad, I can't handle how cute it is. Okay. However, we do have things to accomplish. Why does it look like there's gonna be a ninja right here? Okay, because I'm insane, apparently. I found more honey! One of these days I actually need to use it. Uh, hello? Aw, training! So, K Menzel, from what I understand from seeing screenshots of this game, the Pokemon do not all have the same speed. And if you have something like a grottle or something behind you, it is slow. But I also don't know if every Pokemon can follow you. I would have to look that up. I wonder what Pokemon there are here. I would very much enjoy watching, like, a slowpoke just be slowly outrun. Oh. The Burrell. Oof. Okay. So, I'm not gonna do very well if I try to fight you as a fire horse. So I'm gonna switch to something else. Okay, very intimidating. Grr! Still so very intimidating. Such intimidation. Cool. Take down. Uh, yeah, I do not like that as a move. I don't like the recoil damage. And I don't feel that I need it. Fairy Carry, please stop trying to evolve. I need you to learn some, some other things first. Hmm. Oh, yo! You can, you can just, you can just, you can just do this now. Look at him! Look how hard he tries to keep up! He tries so hard! He tries so hard! He's just like floating there behind me! Look how small my pony is! Look how small! Oh, pony's so small! Pony's so small! I cannot even! I couldn't even ride this pony if I- I just- I just- <laughs> Keeps getting stuck. Look at him gallop! Look at what he gallop! It does the gallop! You're so cute! And like it glows! It glows when it's in the shadow of the cloud! I love this. Okay, so you can just. You can just walk with your Pokemon now. Oh, heck, they're so cute. They're so cute. And they all have like a walk and a run. Oh. Okay, so I didn't. I just. Mm. I was confused by that. I am now less confused by that walk togetherness. Okay. We'll do that. 
we'll take a big deep breath, and then we'll go see if the fisherman is gonna fight us. Cause he might not. I don't know! Uh, yes. They're just... slow. But they are still there. Hello. Uh, yes, I would agree that a good rod is really good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, no, no, I'm okay. I know, I know how to, I know how to fish. Okay. My mind has just been blown by this adorable walking. Hello. Uh, no, I do not. I thought, okay. I guess he's not gonna fight me, chat. I don't- I don't know why I expected that he would fight me, but, like, for some reason I kinda thought he would? Are- are you- are you gonna fight me? Oh! No! I- you're just gonna give me stuff because we're friends now. I- I see. Uh, yes, I will pick the chest of berries, thank you. Actually. Didn't that girl say that the town map showed me? Hold on. Yeah, no. So, when you talk to the people in the Berry Master's house in the original game, um, one of them gives you an app for your watch that lets you see where there are ripe berries. And instead, she said that the town map shows you. Aha! There it is. Okay. So if you go to location information, you can see that, you can see honey trees and whether or not they have honey or they have, like whether or not, if I've slathered them with honey, if they have something that's worth catching. That's actually a really cool management tool. I like that. That is interesting. I am not using it right now because I am definitively not doing some of the content in this game with regularity. Did, did they just, like, get stuck sometimes? Oops. Hello. Um, the jogger over there just doing the moonwalk? Yup. Yup, hello, sir. Oh, we're gonna crunch and munch you all up. Well, you know what, twins? Fair. I was not paying attention. Bonsley and Mime Jr. Ugh, Mime Jr. is so terrifying. Oh, this is a good setup for me, though. Because I'm pretty sure the flame wheel is going to wreck him. Allergies is dozing off? It must be sleepy. Okay. Why? Why is it just... Why are my Pokemon just sleepy sometimes? Delightful. I will- I will take those levels. Boop. And then after saying it was dozing off, it still went first. I don't think it was dozing off, chat. I think it's fine. Okay, so... They- they said they were gonna crunch and munch me up, but... Unfortunately, I got lucky, I guess. No. What? You are not evolving. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it! Thank you. Thank you. I think the horse, like, gets stuck on things. Ooh. So, like, the horse doesn't navigate things as well as some of the other 
Pokemon sprites do. It can't corner very well. Okay, I bet you. Hi, hi! I'm a Pokemon! Honestly, 12 out of 10 fashion would win. Poke Kid! So cute! Nice. I love that sound bite. The fact that it's not just like the growl, but it's actually the name. Hits me right in the nostalgia. Nice. Darn. Static and Poison Point. Man. Ooh, Bobbery. I'm so angry. Yeah, that's fair. I actually feel kind of bad for taking money from you. I wish I could give it back. Because she's just so cute, and she clearly spends her allowance on great things. As, as that outfit can attest. Oh my gosh, the pony. The pony. The glowing pony. So cute. So they're paralyzed, but they have no problem walking with me. Love it. Ah, uh, yes. I would like to unparalyze my point. to gallop to keep up with me. It's so cute. It's so lovely. Okay. Hello, Petulant Cobra. Hey, look! I've got a pony! And it gallops with me! That is so amazing! Well, I'm glad your trip to the store was successful in that you were re able to return from it. I hope it was also successful in that you, like, also got what you went there for. <laughs> I, I can walk with a Pokemon! I can do it! It's so cute and it glows! Look at it glowing! How do Fae leaves, rude? How dare they? Are you going to fight me? No. Okay. I see, I see. I see. Okay, so we're at the curve in the road now, chat. Because the road is going to curve and go up to Salation Town. And then, and then I have all of the distance to go still. <sighs> Tough. I do not think... Would, would you like a snack, Kimenzel? If, if, if you're feeling snackish? Would you, would you like a snack? I mean, I ask that because I am also feeling somewhat snackish. However, rude. Okay, Pestle and Cobra, you can have a snack. Here you go. Here you go. To be fair, I have different tasted chips from this too, okay, Menzel? I got them because they were there and on sale, not because I really expected them to be great. You're welcome, Petulant Cobra! Glad you managed to reach through the screen. You popped! <laughs> great use of redemption, okay, Menzel. Thank you so much for redeeming keep doing what you're doing. You're right, I did pop. And so I will keep doing that thing, and I will not stop.
Very funny. Very funny, and I appreciate that. So, we're supposed to go to Veilstone City. It's gonna take us a while. So we're gonna have to do that on our next adventure. So I feel pretty successful with today because my goal was to catch a stunky, and I did that in like the first 20 minutes. So the whole rest of this was just bonus content as far as I was concerned. Um, which means that my next goal is going to have to be finishing these roots and actually getting this third gym badge from Dalestone. So, I'm going to be continuing that on Thursday. Um, again at 2pm EST. So, same time, uh, but just on Thursday. And we are going to just kind of continue this weird little adventure of, of having people randomly attack a 10 year old kid as though that is totally normal and then whooping them as though that is also totally normal. This is apparently just what we do now and it's very exciting. I'm still really enjoying this game so thank you all for continuing along this adventure with me. So hopefully I'll be able to see some of y'all back on Thursday. But in the meantime, we are gonna go on a little raid um, we are going to pop over to see Bad at Buttons, uh, because apparently Chad is making them play all the Mario games, and I really like Mario games. So, you know. I could say, write it down! So hopefully, until then, uh, y'all can keep it cute. <laughs> Let me just actually set this up because I am a professional who definitively knows uh, what they are doing. Bad at Buttons. There we go. Yeah, so Bad at Buttons today is apparently playing Yoshi's Island, which, um, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who was here. Thank you to everyone who stopped in. Um, who decided they wanted to spend a little bit of time here. I appreciated it. I hope y'all have wonderful afternoons, wonderful evenings, um, just a wonderful time in the start of your week. Um, and hopefully I'll get to see some of y'all again on Thursday. But in the meantime, stay safe, be excellent, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.